Hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Tea Time with Dr. Yabo with my guest Nat Taylor. Everybody welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my tea time. Today we're talking about fashion, we're talking about dressing, we're talking about style. Everybody welcome to my tea time with Dr. Yabo. How's everyone doing today? My name is Dr. Yabo Webzel. I'm a business and lifestyle coach. I'm known as the money to honey coach. Okay, guys, I'm known as the money to honey coach. Everybody welcome. What I do is I coach people to make more money and I coach women to attract their honey. It's as simple as that, right? Those are the two things that a lot of us want. We want to look beautiful. Everybody, hi. <laughs> Dr. Folake, hi. Hello everyone, Alexandria, how are you? So I coach people to make more money via entrepreneurship and I coach women to also attract their honey. That is what I do and I know those are two things that a lot of us want. We all want to make more money so we can make impact, so we can take care of ourselves and our family and travel the world and also help people because if you don't have money you can't help anyone right money he helps you help people and money just helps with a lot of things in life so we all want to make more money and that is what i'm here to do to help you guys make more money and to help you attract your honey and my tea time with dr yabo show actually achieves that on many 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 levels so every yes yes to making an impact yes you we have to make an impact if we don't i'm trying to make sure my dress looks good if we don't make an impact then what's our purpose in this world right what is our purpose so i want everybody to live that purpose driven life and my tea time with dr yabo helps me achieve those things i bring on guests that discuss things that will help us topics that will help us make more money on one hand on the other hand help us live in a purpose on the other hand also help us attract a honey for for women right but we have to dress up <laughs> we have to dress up to, to to for the part right we have to dress up for success we have to show up like we mean business okay this is what i say that it's not vanity it's not bad to want to look good it's fine if you want to use a filter and it makes you look good use a filter i'm using a filter today but I, I i also do lives where i don't use use filters you know i also come on without makeup but you do have to show up like you mean business the way you show up in the world is the way the world is going to receive you you have to show up classy, you have to show up with elegance, you have to show up with confidence, you have to put yourself together, <laughs> right guys? You have to put yourself together. If you guys agree with me, can you say yes? You have to put yourself together, you have to dress well, you have to smell well, you have to look good. You know, smelling well is also very important. You have to smell good, you have to look good, you have to carry yourself with poise, with elegance, with sophistication, you have to, you know, groom yourself well and you have to show confidence because the way that you put yourself out there, no matter what people say that it's vain or whatever, but the way that you present yourself to the world is the way that you're going to command respect from the world. Actually, I'm working on a YouTube video where I'm going to, hi Karina, you know, yeah, I'm working on a YouTube video soon where I'm going to release a talk about how to command respect in the world. You know, you nobody insults me. Nobody can be, you know, mean to me. Nobody can do whatever negative to me because I don't receive it. <laughs> Hi, Nat. I'm going to bring you on in a second because I don't receive it. So there's a way to have boundaries in life. There's a way to dress up, to dress up the part. There's a way to command respect. People always talk about, oh, he talked to me somehow, he did this, he did. but I'm like, do you sit around receiving it? <laughs> you know, you don't have to receive disrespect. There's a way to command respect in the world. And one of the ways to command respect in the world is to dress in a way that people will respect you. Yeah is to dress that in a way people so dressing is very very important 
this the topic for today is so important dressing is part of branding it is part of commanding respect it is part of making money my mom taught me this my mom you know she always dressed the part she always dressed I me mean, she was always dressed in traditional yoruba outfits but oh my gosh she would dress up and carry herself with confidence and i learned all of this from her so guys today i'm wearing a dress by nat i'm going to bring nat on today so you guys sit down with your tea okay we're going to talk about really really important things today because i'm sorry to say i am nosy but some of you that i follow i don't like the way you present yourselves online you have a business but you're not dressing the part <laughs> you are not dressing the part you're not showing up like you're ready opportunities are not going to come to you if you are not dressed the part if you don't dress up like a boss lady that you are i'm not saying you should always wear something formal you can wear a pair of shorts and a black t-shirt and still look classy you guys see how i dress there sometimes I, I take pictures in my shorts but it's still classy right i don't have my boobs and my nipples hanging out i don't have my butt hanging out okay there's a way to dress feminine sexy sultry but still command respect you don't have to have your body parts all the time i have pictures where i have bathing a bathing suit on have you guys seen my bathing suit pictures please say yes or not nat i'm going to bring you in <laughs> i'm going to bring you on in a second nat i'm going to bring you on in a second but have you guys can you type yes if you have seen my pictures in bathing suits can you type yes those of you who follow me i'm making a point here who has seen my pictures on instagram in in bathing suits but i don't take pictures where half of my butt is out <laughs> okay i don't take pictures where my legs are spread about uh, apart and you can see my private parts okay Auntie Yabo is serious today. I brought Nat on today so we can talk about some important things. I don't take bathing suit pictures where my nipples are basically out and all I have is one strip of something just covering my nipples. I don't post pictures like that and I don't post pictures in bathing suits with my legs spread apart. That is not classy. Guys, nobody wants to see your private parts that's not how you create a powerful brand you think that is if oprah is looking for somebody to represent she's going to pick you if you have your body parts all out showing the entire world you guys please don't get me started you don't get me started but these are all the things i teach in my coaching Branding is about presenting yourself in a classy, confident way. You have to dress the part. It doesn't mean you should never wear a mini skirt or, or a bathing suit or whatever. Some of you guys, the way you post pictures, it's you might as well be, be, be you might as well be a porn page. Honestly, <laughs> Matt, I'm sorry, I'm rambling here. I'm going to bring you on, but I really wanted to ramble for the beginning of this show you might as well be a pawn brand some of you some of you and if you guys know somebody who posts pictures like that where their body parts are out and it's like they're asking for sex but they have a, they say they're a blogger or they say they have an online business text them and tell them to watch the replay of this tea time on my youtube or dm them because women 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 we teach people how to how to treat us we do we do okay Nat. enough of my rambling everybody welcome to the show okay but you guys if you understand what i'm saying please just start, start typing yes if you under just start typing yes because you know uh Nat, did i just accept hi hi, <laughs> hi how, how are, are you, you? <laughs> good, good to you see you uh? can you hear me yes i can i can hear oh, you just you. fine i am loving my dress honestly thank you i'm, I'm not even joking 
I'm not just saying this because you're on here, but the first day I saw this dress on Alex, I'm like, mm. this is my kind of dress. <laughs> I love dresses like this. Let me tell you why. I'm a little conscious of my arms, mm -hmm. okay? So I love dresses that are silky. First of all, this is the, my favorite fabric. I love silky dresses. I do love pattern. I love um, plain dresses also, but I love patterns. But this hides my arms that I'm conscious of. I mm -hmm. love my waistline, okay? So I, uh -huh. I look for clothes that cinch me at the waist. And then I love dresses that hold me at the waist and flare out. So I saw this dress and I'm like, this dress was made for me. So <laughs> that's how I found you. I ordered this dress. So thank you. I need to order more. So if you have clothes well, that kind you. of have this kind of shape, especially in plain colors, can you send them to my DM? Absolutely. I yeah. sure will. And yeah. do you know it has it has pockets in it as well? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and it has pockets. You know, so this That's dress always a good is, sale. That's necessary. <laughs> oh, this dress is beautiful. It's meant for my body because you might as well answer that as the, my first question that how can... Okay, first of all, first of all, <laughs> this is Nat Taylor, guys. This is Nat, <laughs> okay? Nat, tell us about yourself, guys. Welcome, Nat. Blow her some kisses. Give her some hearts. I'm getting too excited. I'm too going too fast. But Nat, please tell us about yourself. Then I'm going to just give you the first question. I'm trying to turn the volume up a little bit. Hi, everybody. I see a few um, familiar uh, tags um, down there. Hold on. Let me see. Somebody me? already placed an order this morning. Yes, thank you. You can hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Okay. I was just checking. Well, hi, everybody. My name is Nat Taylor. <laughs> I am I am a fashion designer, but um, I've evolved so much over the years. Now I just say I'm a creative director um, of all things fashion, film, art, music. It's all the same to me. So, wow. <laughs> wow, very nice. So, guys, if you love fashion like I do, you better follow Nat. <laughs> because, <laughs> no, I'm not joking. You, I've done a, a YouTube video before, guys, where I said you should, when you wear dresses as a woman, there are two things. I, I think I'll tell you guys when I'm, and then I'm going to start asking that questions. There are two <laughs> things you should always think of doing. You either wear a dress that is above knee, if you really want to look feminine and sultry, wear a dress that is above knee. If you're not really, uh, if you're conscious of your legs, if it's not too warm, you can wear pantyhose. But I want to tell you two things that flatter every woman, no matter what size you are. Wear a dress that shows your knees, so above knee, or if you're okay with your waistline, wear a dress that cinches you at the waist. Mm -hmm. One of those two. So guys, take this. Are you talking two. about fit and flares? Like the, the fit and flare yes. cut that you have on? Yes. This type that I have on, or even, you know, there are some women who are more straight cut, who don't have a mm -hmm. defined waist. If you're a straight cut, cut more like a boy shape, you don't have to have a dress that is cinched at the waist like me. It can be more mm -hmm. boxy. But if you're wearing a boxy dress, please make sure it's above knee. <laughs> I've seen I've seen some that that do come um, ankle length that do look really nice on taller women. It just it just depends. It depends uh, on how you wear it, and it depends on your body type. Okay. You know, we're all okay. we're all shaped differently. <laughs> so true, so true. But I just feel that you know, if you wear a dress that is boxy and then is long mm -hmm. and is midi, it just looks frumpy, right? It depends on how you carry it. True. It depends on how you carry true. it. Because well, this is yeah, why I brought you people. today. <laughs> this is why. So, uh, so are you able to like? So, can you, if women send you a picture of themselves, are you able to make dresses for them? Can you advise them on what will suit their body type? Um, I can, but I would, I would probably refer somebody who does that as a profession, which is you know, image consultants or style consultants. For me, it would just be just my opinion. I mean, you know, okay. um, as an image consultant, they would be able to kind of place them or or assess their wardrobe, see what they need, see what, what's missing or, you know, how they're feeling about it and go a little okay. bit deeper with it. Okay. Me, so, I would um, just, you know, advise them to wear all that, Taylor. 
Okay. <laughs> so then, so you just, so do you design all your clothes? I do. Okay. So you design all your dresses, but what mm -hmm. you're saying is you can't look at somebody's figure and then say, this is what will suit you, but you just oh, design. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, but my suggestions would always be, would go back to my collection. You know, I have okay. the main cut that I, that I promote in the collection is the fit and flare, which is the Lola dress that you're wearing now, because I think that it works for most women. I mean, whether you're, skinny or not so skinny tall shorter i mean the where the the waistline hits and where the hem the hemline we offer in three different lengths in mini uh, uh knee length and also in a max not maxi midi length i've actually done a lola in a maxi too so that's just by request though that's not on the website <laughs> okay you know it's so funny because i was actually thinking i would have loved my dress like two or three inches shorter shorter oh yeah, yeah. you should have got the mini <laughs> yeah so i love mini dresses yeah mm -hmm. so i may i may just give it to my alteration person so i love dresses above my knee because i i'm proud of my legs and i like to show show mm -hmm. my legs off a lot yeah so everybody oh, yeah. welcome the reason why okay because everything i do is intentional guys the reason why i brought nat on today is because i know it's the era of personal branding right we're all trying to get into this online space as women we want to make more money and dressing is a very big part of personal branding okay so nat what does personal branding mean to you personal branding to me it's my story it's what i want people to know about me um how I choose to tell that story is all a part of my brand, whether it's, you know, in what I'm wearing or how I speak or where I speak, um, what I'm eating, how, what color I have my nails, like down to like the details of everything. Um, it's just what it's about what you want people to know about you and how you choose to tell that is, is your brand. Okay. So it's put, and that's why it's personal. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But it's, mm-hmm. So if women are looking to create a personal brand where at some point they'll start to attract opportunities. You paused. A strong personal brand. At some point you do want, rather than chasing after opportunities, you want opportunities to be attracted to you. So what is maybe one or two things that women have to think about when they're creating that personal brand so that they can get to the point where they can attract opportunities? Um, well, we talked about image consulting. I think that's the first thing, the first step, if you're um, wanting to just assess or if you want to make a change. Um, speaking with somebody who, who can kind of look at it from a different perspective, because I think a lot of times, and you mentioned it earlier, um, that you have like an issue with, your, with showing your arms. And I think a lot of women that come to me, a lot of my clients, they, we, we, because I, I have it with my legs, um, all have an issue with some part of our body that we don't want to show. And it's like, it takes over everything else. So when you have an image consultant with you, like they're the person that's gonna kind of push you in a different direction um, so that when you step outside of your comfort zone, you are opening yourself up to a whole new world of opportunity. Image consultants cost money, right? Um, they do, but not always, because you can barter, especially if you're offering services. That's a, that is a big thing. <laughs> if you, you offer services, what? you can barter. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's always an, that's always an option. If you're a hairstylist and you're trying to rebrand yourself, you know, maybe that person needs hair services. It's just always something to put on the table. But okay. um, there are image consultants that will do like a complimentary consultation just to kind of get you started, you know, and that's really sometimes that's all you need is a kickoff. You know, or yeah. if you want to do it on your own, just step outside of your comfort zone and trying different things, um, seeing what works, seeing what fits um, color wise. You know, we just we overthink a lot of yes. things. And it's not just women. It's sometimes men, too. We overthink so many things and we're just like, you know, like keeping ourselves in a box because we don't want to try anything new. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you're saying women can try, if they want to up level their dressing and their branding, they can try an image consultant. If money is an issue, 
there's a lot of um, uh, information online, right? There's YouTube, there's Google that they can go to and they can try oh, yeah. different things. Yeah, okay. Everything's think, on YouTube. <laughs> I know. And think outside the box. So if, you, or if your closet or your wardrobe is full of black dresses, start trying some mm -hmm. color, right? Yeah. Right. So why is it important to look good when building a brand <laughs> and starting a business? Why? Um, well, it's always important to look good. I guess whether you're starting a business or you're jumping into corporate, um, you know, it goes back to the old saying, when you look good, you feel good. So you, you want to present your best self all the time. Um, even sometimes when we don't feel like, <laughs> feel like presenting our best self, what's on the outer is going to um, be what people see first. So you want to make sure that that's put together. And then, you know, put a smile on make it make it feel good make them feel good and then you know get through get through the moment <laughs> yes yes exactly now does styling have to be expensive because some people will look at me i'm thinking of what people say to me mm -hmm. and what people are the excuses they always give and i know the answer but i want you to answer it as a fashion designer they, they always say oh, because you're a doctor it's because you can afford those dresses it's because does it always have to cost a lot to look good? No, absolutely not. I mean, we have so many options. I think women, period, we have a lot more options than men do um, as far as clothing are concerned. And people talk about Fashion Nova, but there are some pieces on Fashion Nova that you can mix and match with higher end pieces. So it's not just about um, the price point or wearing labels or, you know, higher end labels um, or designer brands. It's about your, your personal style. What's Fashion Nova? What is you, you, you said oh, Fashion, fashion Nova. Nova? Fashion Nova. It's a on, it's an online um, boutique. Um, oh. Mostly a lot of uh, what type of dresses? So, to give me give me the word. It's like they're they're not um, corporate or like anything that you would go to for corporate. But if you see like bodycon dresses, you can throw in a blazer with that or, you know, certain tops or something that's on there. You might want to throw that underneath a suit or something just to kind of mix and match it. Like, and I use Fashion Nova as an example because a lot of people talk about it as if it's just for like, you know, hoochies or, you know, the stripper girls or something like that. But it isn't. It's just the way that you look at the product or look okay. the way that you style it. I've never heard of it. So it's Fashion OVA. <laughs> I've never heard of it. Sorry. I'm going to text it to you. <laughs> please. Sometimes I, I remember that I'm 51. Yeah. <laughs> so, sometimes, most 51. of the time I don't remember that I'm old. But yeah, sometimes when people say some things and I'm like, what is that? They're like, and my daughters are like, mom, you don't know what that is. I'm like, I don't. Sorry. Yeah. I don't, you know, I don't know something. They're, oh, they're pulling yeah, it they, up in the comments for you. It's fast, yeah. you know, it's a fast fashion brand. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Sorry. I've just never heard of it. So yeah. Um, and even I, Target. <laughs> Target has some lines, it has a line now that's really, really cute. So, yes. I mean, you can play around with it. We have options, so it doesn't yes. all have to be higher. I was just about to say, and I say it all the time to women, I'm like, I can take you to Walmart. I can mm -hmm. take you to a thrift store. My daughters go thrifting all the time and they come home with some lovely pieces. I'm like, I can take you thrifting. I can take you to Walmart and dress you up and you mm -hmm. won't recognize yourself anymore. I I'm not a fashion designer. But I am blessed with a fashion eye. I do have right. a really good fashion eye. I can look at you and, you know, dress you up in a very classy, sultry way. I just have that gift. So and women, the point is, it doesn't have to be expensive, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't have to be expensive. And to your point earlier about, um, you know, the image consultant or the style consultant costing money, people do have friends who you just, you just need somebody that's going to give you a different perspective on on what you're wearing or how you're wearing it, if that's yes. the direction you want to go in. <laughs> yes. While we're talking about clothes, can I just briefly talk about, what about our hair? Mm -hmm. I feel that our hair is so important to everything. You can be wearing the most expensive dress. If your hair is crazy, you're going to spoil it. Hair and makeup. And I don't even want to talk about those lashes that look like there's a monster <laughs> stuck on your eye. Because I'm telling you, Auntie, yeah, boy, you, those of you who call me Auntie and who call me Mom, I'm sorry, but if you have any of those lashes, 
anywhere in your home. Can you throw them out now? I mean, I don't have lashes on today, but Nat has lashes on, right? Or are those mm -hmm, I do. She, I, she has I don't wear them on. as much as I used to, though. <laughs> but, but, but they're sophisticated lashes. I'm sorry, guys, but there's sophisticated and then there's trashy. Mm -hmm. So, Nat, can you please comment on the hair and the makeup and the lashes? Well, even, I mean, a light, a, nothing's wrong with the light beat. Um, I don't wear lashes as much as I used to, but I was talking to someone yesterday about it. And I used to, every time I left the house, I felt like I had to have lashes on. Um, mm -hmm. But it got to a point where, for one, I got tired of putting them on because they're time consuming. But you have to, <clears throat> excuse me, just be in love with with yourself and with your, your face, your, your body, the way that it is. Um, focus on healthy skin because that's key. You know, yes. if you have healthy skin, then you won't try to hide it. And I think a lot yeah. of times that's what we are trying to do, hide something <laughs> that yeah. we don't like. Um, hair, my view on hair is, I mean, it's just hair. I mean, I know everybody's doesn't grow like um, extremely fast all the time, but I don't really care the way, I mean, I shaved this whole thing off. Well, just that, that's because you have beautiful hair. Your hair I is just so felt like shaving it. <laughs> I this mean, is your hair, just, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> guys, guys, this is not natural hair. Her hair is so <laughs> thick. Her hair but, is so thick. Thank you. But there was a time, like, my hair has always been thick, but there was a time when I just only wore wigs. I don't even know why I was doing it, but I only <laughs> wore wigs because I felt like that would make me feel good when I left the house. And I just, I think three, no, wait, four or five years ago, I stopped perming my hair and... Mm -hmm. It started growing and, you know, I just started to fall in love with it. So I think you just have to fall in love with, with who you are and what you're putting out there. Yes, that is so true. Yeah. And sometimes less is more, guys. Yeah. You know, sometimes less is more. You don't have Unless to overdo it. Unless it's for a photo it. shoot. <laughs> yeah, except, thank you, except for a photo shoot. You're right. Except for a photo shoot. Like today, I still have my sewing weave. But mm -hmm. it's hot outside, and I just didn't feel like having my hair down. So this, I, I bought, it. it's, it's a pack of, this headband was a pack of three from CVS for $10. This oh, wow. headband, that, <laughs> yeah, it's from CVS. It's, it's actually a scrunchie, but I just stretched it out as a headband. And mm -hmm. I just pulled my weave back in a ponytail. I put this over it. And there we go, and I have my hoops on. It doesn't have to be expensive. These hoops were like from J. Crew. I think they were like forty dollars. Yeah. So that's guys, like that's essential. You have to have a pair of, of gold hoops. <laughs> did, guys, did you hear Nat? Nat, say <laughs> that again. Gold hoops are an essential jewelry piece for your collection. Essential accessories. And that's my next question for you. Mm -hmm. That what are some key items? What are some inexpensive ways that women can start to elevate, you know, to, to improve their image, enhance their natural beauty? We've talked about hoops, guys. Big hoops. And I like the thinner ones. I think they're more classy. I don't like the really heavy ones. But if the heavy ones are your style, that's fine. But mm -hmm. I think the thin ones like you and I have on fit every type, type of body, uh, uh, every type of face. So what are some inexpensive ways that women can start to elevate their dressing from today? Um, well, I think the first thing that comes to mind, of course, is finding the perfect dress, the perfect cut. And we talked about that. Um, for me, again, is the fit and flair. <laughs> you, guys <laughs> can see, you guys can see it fully, but please, when we're done, go back to the picture I posted, oh, the picture, my last yeah. post, because my husband took that picture of me <laughs> and I posed in my lovely dress from Nat beside the flowers that I planted. So I'm really proud of that picture in many ways. So go and look at it. But I love this dress. I'm not even joking. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, that, that would be the first thing, just finding like the perfect cut because then, you know, when you go into a store, your eye goes to that thing that you know works yeah. for you. Um, the second thing, I guess, would be undergarments are very important. Um, wearing the proper undergarments will make a huge difference in the garment, that, in whatever you're wearing, um, in how you feel in it and in how you look in it. Um, mm. Also, accessories. I don't normally do accessories. This is probably the most you'll get, or I might judge up the earring a little bit, maybe a couple of rings now. But I have seen where accessories do make 
the outfit. So, I mean, I think that's one important thing that you can add to it. And then also a really good pair of heels because nowadays, especially post COVID or whatever phase we're in with that, you can wear a sweatsuit and put on some heels and give and still have it, make it a look. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that. So the mm -hmm. dress that fits your body type the best, right? And if you don't know mm -hmm. what that dress is, get an image consultant, right? Or just go to the store and try on a couple of things. Yes, and maybe ask a friend of yours who has a good mm -hmm. eye for fashion to look at them for you and comment on them. You said right. undergarments. So when you said undergarments, did you mean that undergarments that will help our clothes look good? Or do you mean sexy undergarments that make us feel good? I mean both. I mean the, the bra and the panty, whatever is going to work for you whether, you, whether it has to match or it doesn't need to match, or the body shaper, because shapers definitely, um, yes, that too. Accessories are the exclamation point on any outfit. I was reading Alice's comment. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but okay. any, un, any um, slimming undergarments, and it doesn't matter what size you are. Like, slimming undergarments aren't for particular sizes. They're for... Yeah. They're just to make things fall better on your body. Yeah, yes. And then accessories, give us a few. So, because when you see accessories, I don't know why belts, belts, belts just come to mind. <laughs> Maybe it's because <laughs> I just bought a couple belts from Alex. But when, when you see accessories, give us a few examples. I'm meaning necklaces, earrings, um, rings, you know, maybe just one ring, or you can do a handful of rings. It's totally up to you, and it depends on your vibe. Um, <laughs> it's funny you say belts because, again, I have a lot of clients, they, they throw on a belt with everything because they think that that's going to help accentuate, I mean, accentuate their waistline. Sometimes mm -hmm. it does. Sometimes it, it kind of throws off the look a little bit when you just have yeah. to put a belt on with everything. But you don't, a lot of times you don't need it, you know? Depends on yes. the cut of the dress, depends on how you want it to flow and how you're feeling that day. You may mess up the look by adding a belt to it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Guys, did you hear that? Because I've seen some outfits where I'm like, she needs to take that belt off. I'm thinking yeah. to myself. Yeah. So guys, and it was that's probably the last tip. thing she put on too. <laughs> yeah. Guys, that's a tip that Nat just said there. Not every outfit needs a belt. Okay? So not look at all. it. Ask your friends who <coughs> have a good eye. It may not need a belt, guys. And my friend Simi here says something that is super important. Nats did talk about it. Undergarments, ill-fitting <laughs> bras ruin everything. Yes, they do. Yeah. They do. Yeah. You want to make sure they're sitting where they're supposed bras. to sit. <laughs> I tell us a, about um, bras, Nat. I'm sorry? I said, tell us about bras. How do we oh. know? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean... Most bra places do offer um, fittings, on-site fittings, so you can go and get a, a get fitted properly for the bra. Um, I had an episode um, a couple of years ago at a photo shoot with the stylist, and she was trying me on different things, and I guess my bra wasn't up to par, and she's just like jerking my bra and pinning it and tucking it. And I'm just, <laughs> I was so embarrassed because I'm like, like I felt like it was fine, but I guess you know once I went and actually got fitted, I realized I was wearing the wrong cup size and it wasn't mm -hmm. holding the way it's supposed to do. See, whoever uh, the J W Law Firm, Victoria's mm -hmm. Secret. I went to Victoria's Secret and it gave me the wrong size, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know yeah. if that works for over double D, but um, there is uh intimates in um i know in atlanta i know we're talking to people all over the world but um who is it lane bryan there's a couple of different stores even macy's even the department stores do offer um do offer fittings as well yeah victoria's secret they they tried to play me out so <laughs> yeah I, yeah the, Je, that was jessica she's a lawyer jessica unfortunately uh nat and i are on the same le um <laughs> same brain uh, brain uh, what's brain wave I cannot wear Victoria's Secret bras. My boobs are a bit on the big side. In fact, I used to be double D E, you know, in my younger years. Now I'm still a D. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm a D. Sometimes I still have to wear double D. So I cannot do Victoria's Secret. They kind of just cut my boobs into two. 
So most yeah. of my bras, honestly, I just go to Nordstrom and I get fitted because Nordstrom has a variety of different bras. That's where all my bras are from. But I have only two brands that I wear that really fit my boobs. I do have like the, anyway, I'm not going to say the bedroom <laughs> stuff, but yeah, I do have some of the nice lacy ones for, you know, for those times, right? right? You, have to, you have to have those, those ones. For those too. off Instagram moments. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Now, yeah. I have, that, I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm pregnant, so my boobs are now in H. So I have to go to the, the special uh, stores and the special sections to get fitted to make sure that I'm wearing the right size because otherwise I'll have back problems and all of the types of stuff. And from what I hear, um, they're going to get larger. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready for that. But they are going to get larger. Yeah. <laughs> but the problem is when you're pregnant, they get larger. Well. Then after you have the baby, they deflate. Oh, and I'm like, well, that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, good to know for some people. I loved my right. boobs when I was pregnant. I'm like, that's the only thing I wanted. My boobs and my hair. My hair mm -hmm. grew and my boobs were really nice and perky. But then after I had the baby, my hair fell out and my boobs deflated. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's why you told me to wear braids. That's why you said that yesterday. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So, yes, and people are commenting here about, you know, yeah, my friend Simi has big boobs. She says she's G. <laughs> some yeah. are G, some are G, some are H. Yeah, is. so, guys, you, you guys now know, you get the point that bras are very important. Now, Nat, I Elomi mean, is the Elomi is a good brand, too. I just discovered them just recently, but they've, um, they actually have a really good brand of bras if, for those of us in the GH Club. Ah, okay, <laughs> so guys, please go to Nat's DM when we're done and ask her mm -hmm. about the a couple um, suggestions she has for bra brands. Please do that. I was mm -hmm. saying, Nat, that I'm middle-aged. I can still wear heels. I have to say that I can still wear heels. A lot of mm -hmm. middle-aged women cannot wear heels that like that anymore, <laughs> right. okay, because of reasons here, there, and everywhere. So if there's a woman who's 40, 50 years old and who just can't wear heels, even block heels, some women struggle even with block right. heels. How can they dress up? What can they wear that will still make their outfits look elegant? I mean, the outfit will still look elegant if that's how you're presenting it. I mean, I've seen women wear flats with um, a dress similar to yours and it still looks really cute and really sophisticated. Um, it goes back to how you carry yourself. Um, and, and how you how you present the full look, including what's on the inside. I like how you say carry yourself a lot, just because I believe yeah. in that so much. How we carry ourselves is so important, mm -hmm. guys. Also, remember your not just your gait, but your posture, guys. Right. Posture is so important. I'm all about posture with women. There are some women I see that as they get older. They lose their upright posture. They start to bend over. or they just, You have to remember that whether you're wearing flats or heels, when you're sitting down, you see how I'm sitting down straight? You know, right. don't slump over. Your, your posture is very important, guys. Remember that when you're taking pictures, when you're sitting, when you're walking, when you're standing, stand, stand your, your elegant posture is very, very important. It commands respect. So Nat right. has said that a few times, how you carry yourself is very important, okay? Now, Nat, confidence is an, yeah, composed <laughs> and, and I think I'm too tall for heels, I'm 5'11". <laughs> yeah, so Nat just said you can rock your flats. Yeah, I have a lot yeah. of clients who will, who will throw on flats in a minute with the with the dress or with pants. Yeah. So it doesn't, it doesn't make um, a difference as far as that's concerned. Yeah. So I want to ask you this question now. I'm all, mm -hmm. I'm all about women being, you know, not all women. It, if it doesn't work, some women are more tomboyish. That's fine. Believe it or you won't believe that. When I was a little younger, I was a bit on the tomboyish side, but I still loved to wear dresses, but I, my hair was always short cut and all that. But if you're more of a feminine woman, how can you, how can, can we make sure we don't go from classy to trashy what 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 are some things women do 
that they just because I see them on Instagram and I'm like I don't understand how you you don't see that this is trashy. There's a mm -hmm. fine line between classy and trashy. What are some things women should avoid so they don't go over to the trashy end? Well, it depends on if they want to go to the trashy end. So, <laughs> some people want to switch it up. <laughs> no, 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 no. But let me tell you something. People who are trashy don't know they're trashy. You know that, right? <laughs> They don't Do you know. Think, really? Yeah, yeah. They don't know. No, no, no. P women who you, because okay, so th think about it. If you, if you, I know you and I would never do this. But if somebody called a trashy woman, why are you dressed trashy? Do you think she would accept that she's trashy? No. Now, do you mean by trashy? Do you mean like skimpy? Like, like trashy? Maybe I mean showing a little too much. Showing it showing a little i mean i i mean like i said before you came on i have pictures on my instagram with me in a bathing suit i, I uh -huh. do get messages from people in my dm who say you say you're a doctor why are you posting pictures of yourself in a bathing suit but i just <laughs> block them so so what i'm saying so you can show some parts of your body but you know there's a fine line between okay you know you're showing too much or the way like the lashes right the mm -hmm. lashes that are up there so they look uncomfortable <laughs> yeah they look uncomfortable and they just don't look classy uh, there's some yeah. things that come to mind that women should at least tone down so that, yeah. and i can give the example like if you're looking for opportunities let's say just imagine Oprah is searching around Instagram. She's looking for a few women to bring on her show. What are some things Oprah is going to see and say, oops, I don't think I'm going to invite her because she may come and embarrass me on my show. What are those things? Um, a few of the things that you mentioned, but I think it depends on what you want your personal brand to be because you do have some people who want you know, that's, that's the attention that's that they true. want. That's the, the, uh, the brand that they're establishing. So that's true. <laughs> it, it works for them. You know, the lashes, the, the skimpy clothes, the nails, like somebody mentioned earlier, the long nails, all of that stuff works <laughs> yeah. for them. It wouldn't work for me, you know, unless I was maybe trying to go for a role or something, but, yeah. and I could hear my mom in my ear, like, what are you doing? So <laughs> it wouldn't work for me, but, um, for a woman who is, you know, maybe on the corporate route or wanting that, that, um, I, I guess a, a certain level of respect, <clears throat> then, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. when you're dressing, um, you just, you just want to be sure that you're, you're not showing too much. I'm a cleavage girl. I, I will show yeah. some cleavage at any event. Cleavage is fine. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. It might be a little, it might be a lot, but I carry it well, like I said earlier. So it's not, you know, I'm not like in your face with it. It's just there and it becomes a part of the look. So it, it depends. Right. It depends on what you're, what you're wanting to put out there. You, you are right that you answer that perfectly because honestly, some people actually want the trashy brand. That's what right. they want. That's it true. Works. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Yeah, and Fit Christina, <laughs> Fit Christina, I have to tell you about the long nails because you <laughs> must be middle-aged like I am, Fit Christina, because my daughters wear those long nails when yeah. they're like, you know, during the summertime, my 18-year-old and my 24-year-old, they like those long nails. And the first time I saw it on them, I'm like, what is that? How are you going <laughs> to clean your area and everywhere with those long nails? And they're like, mom... <laughs> that's what you know that's what and i'm like okay that's fine if it makes you happy that's fine so fit christina you must be middle-aged like me because you must be conservative a bit like me i wear contact lenses and i don't like using that contact thing so i can't wear long oh, nails. oh yeah you can't yeah do I, I wear, I, um, like, now i have my probably... contacts on <laughs> this is probably the longest and i probably need to feel but this is probably the longest that i've gone <laughs> Um, yeah, and they grow so, out really, really fast. But yeah, I don't do the long yeah. nails either. I can't function. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So basically, I'm just talking about women who want to be classy, who want mm -hmm. to have, who want to command respect, who want to elevate themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, try to just avoid the trashy look. But some people are still going to try to disrespect you. Like um, uh, Nat was saying about cleavage, 
there's a post I have on now where I'm talking about my, um, what's it called? My, my coaching is going up in price in two days and I just have a little cleavage. You wouldn't believe that I just blocked a woman this morning who posted a comment on the, uh, just out there for everybody to read. Aren't you a doctor? Why are you showing cleavage? So, oh my gosh. Yeah. People are you know, so funny. <laughs> Yeah, so I blocked her, but People guys, so I'm a, yeah, I'm a very confident person. Don't let comments like that throw you off, guys. Nope. Okay, that is that is. Did correct. you guys it's hear it. me? Yeah, write yeah. that in your journal. Don't let comments like that throw you off because they're those people are insecure. They're crazy. They don't have emotional intelligence. Some of them are just lunatics. I'm sorry that I'm saying <laughs> that, but honestly, because I get those messages all the time. Just block them and move on, but don't take it to heart. Don't and to, take it to heart. They're, um, they're projecting their own insecurities on, on other people, too. That's a, that's a huge yeah. thing with social media. I mean, yes. some people, she may be a doctor who wouldn't show her cleavage. So she's yeah. looking at you like, you know, why are you doing that? But yeah. what happens, you know, eventually people get used to it because you're so confident and it is like you know this is just who she is yeah yeah so you know that and I'm, I'm, I'm coming to confidence now confidence i feel is a major problem in a lot of women because mm -hmm. i've been mentoring for years i've been coaching now since last year a lot of women just lack confidence it's not a criticism I see it a lot, but how can women like you and I, and I, it's not like my confidence, it's not like sometimes I don't have my own little, I've told you about my arms. There's some pictures mm -hmm. I post and I go back and I look and I'm like, my arms look really big in those pictures. Should I take it down? And I'm like, yeah, but that's fine. So we all struggle with a few things here and there, but how can women, okay? Now that's, this is a really, really serious question because I see it a lot. How can women just embrace who they are and love who they are at the it's, size um, they're at now? Even, even if they're trying to lose weight, but how can they just love who they are right now? Um, it's, it goes back to what you said, how you just said you posted the picture with your, your arm and then you went back and looked at it and said that, you know, you wanted to take it down. Um, I may have looked at that picture and didn't even look at your arms. <laughs> so it's a matter of just like getting over that hump and how we constantly again overthinking ourselves um and just stepping out there and doing it um i have an issue with my thighs i don't like wearing shorts because of it i'll wear a mini skirt but i won't mm -hmm. generally wear shorts but i'll challenge myself to do it sometimes so that i can get it out of my head because when i do wear shorts People don't say anything about it. They're like, oh, you look cute. And I'm like, oh, do I? But then you know how we do. We, if somebody gives us a compliment, we don't just say thank you. We're like, oh, well, you know, I like these, but I don't normally wear shorts and my thighs. And you have a whole story that comes behind it. And they're like, oh, well, her thighs are kind of big. You know, then they start looking at it like that. So if you don't put it out there and you don't focus so much attention on it, people won't even notice. So I think we just have to take the, take the energy away from those negative thoughts that we have about ourselves. That is so important. And the compliments thing you said, and guys, please post your questions. If you have any style questions for Nat or any dressing questions, fashion questions, please post them. The thing about compliments, that's another lesson, guys. Nat mm -hmm. just said a lesson right there. When people compliment you, take the compliment. Yeah, guys, just did you thank hear you. that? <laughs> yeah. Guys, accept the compliments. When your husband tells you, women, are you listening to this one? When your husband tells you, you know, gives you a nice compliment, accept it and say, oh, thank you, love. You know, that's <laughs> what I do to my husband. I just hug him. I, you know, I give him a kiss and I'm like, oh, thank you, love. Like today when I walked down in my dress, he's like, hmm. I haven't seen that one before. That looks really nice. I'm like, thanks, guys. And I, I said, thanks, honey. And I, you know, just twirled Did around. And it to him. <laughs> Women, did you hear what I'm saying? This is so important, what Nat said. When people give us a compliment, instead of us taking it, we're like, are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah. My thighs look big. We all oh, do but, it. But my thighs look big.
big, take the compliment. Okay? Yeah. Take it. It doesn't matter whether your thighs look. Yeah, I'm conscious of my arms, but haven't you guys seen me in many dresses that are sleeveless? Mm -hmm. I wear them. I wear, I am conscious of them, but now my confidence is so high because of everything else I'm doing, because I'm putting myself out there. Mm -hmm. That is why we my confidence to. is going up. If I don't put myself out there and start winning and start doing what I'm doing, like what I'm doing today, interviewing Nat, my, how will my confidence go up? The reason I asked Nat the last question about no matter what body size you are, when you're building your brand, you have to post pictures in full length. Guys, if I mm -hmm. come to your page and you only have all of your pictures of head and neck, do you know what that <laughs> says awesome, to me? Please. Do you know what that says to me? That you lack self-confidence, you have low self-esteem. It, it is the most like revealing thing about low mm -hmm. self-confidence. Isn't it, Nat? It, it definitely is. Also, the, um, the angle of the photos, when people take, they have the angle like right on top of their forehead, like that to me says that you are trying to hide something under here that you don't like. Or it's, so, it's such an easy thing to see that people don't even realize that they're revealing. They think they're hiding it. Like, you know, let me shoot from this angle because I want to make sure nobody sees this and it makes my face look smaller. But your face doesn't even look big to anybody other than to you. So <laughs> we just have we just have to block all of those things out of our head. We overthink way too much. Probably partially because of social media. <laughs> because of so, but even without social media, I think as women in general, even mm -hmm. before social media, even when I was growing up without social media, we women are too hard on ourselves. We social are. media has made it really bad. Mm -hmm. But guys, what we're saying today is so important. If you go back and watch this video, it will help you with your personal branding because I see it all the time. Nat just said it. There's some of you who post the same kind of picture <laughs> on your feed. <laughs> it's the same kind of picture. You, you know that angle and all your pictures look the same. That yep. is not going to help your brand. Go to Nat's page. Nat is not a size two, right? <laughs> I say no, I say that no, with all due respect. Not a size two. Okay. I don't think I've ever been a size two. <laughs> but her pictures are beautiful. Even though she says she doesn't Thank like you. wearing shorts, she has a picture with shorts on her page. And it's that it's was the so challenge. Stunning. That huh? was the challenge. I challenged myself that day to wear shorts in that photo shoot because I had never done it. Well, not that I hadn't done it before, but you know, when I go out of town, I challenge myself to do things that I wouldn't normally do around people that I know. So if I'm out of town, I'm like, I don't know these people. Let me just test the waters and see how I feel in it. And you know, when I do that, it kind of, it again, opens me up to, to trying some other things. So shorts is just. <laughs> and you will be surprised. I came to Nat's page and I'm like, oh wow. I could tell she was confident. You'll notice that, well, not that I don't invite people who are not confident to my show, but I am trying to help women get more confident. So I bring women that are doing great things, that are confident, so that I can show them to the world that mm -hmm. look what other women are doing. That's my intention, because there's two women that are too conscious of all these things. That, that, you know what? That's how God created you. <laughs> yeah, and you know, your, your you uniqueness. Have to yeah, you have to tell people, take it or leave it, as long yeah. as you're taking care of yourself. For me, though, you have to, you know, that's a topic for another day. You have to be taking care of yourself. You can't just sit down and eat hamburgers and fries all day, you know? <laughs> yeah, so that's a topic for another day. But while during your process of self-improvement, I went to Nat's page. Of course, I loved this dress. I wanted to know where she bought it. I went to her page and I'm like, oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. All her pictures were so nice. <laughs> and then I see Thank her in you. her shorts. And I'm like, oh, I want her on my show. Because all uh -huh. I could see there was confidence, 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 confidence. Thank yes. you. I appreciate that because that wasn't always the case. Like you, you grow into it. Um, you know, for a long time, like I was, I would do the same thing and I do it sometimes now, but not as much. I don't overthink it as much to post something and then 
think about it later or go back to it like uh, I don't really like this picture let me take it down and then you know I know we're all guilty of it we take a million selfies and a million photos and then you might post one you know maybe if you like it later on so uh, it's just it's a lot that we have to that we have to overcome myself included um you look at my page and see confidence now but it took a it took a while to build that up so okay there are many questions going through my brain as you're asking and this is me as everything you were saying i had so many questions number one question before i forget is so how did you get there how did you get to the point you said you were not always like that number one question how did you get there number two question was what was i going to say um oh, i forgot that it's still something about how did you um, evolve from that person who wasn't confident to this person today oh yeah number two is you see actually it's more of a comment you see how you don't really think of well you didn't think of yourself as that confident but because you put yourself out there i had never mm -hmm. met you before i came right. to your page and all i could see was confidence oh. women that isn't that a lesson <laughs> isn't that a lesson to you women yeah. That we that are deceiving, doing something right. <laughs> because we are deceiving ourselves with what we are telling ourselves. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a lesson to you? You know, she, Nat problem. wouldn't have thought that, but I came to her page and I'm like, I love the way she puts herself together. She has a lot of full length pictures. She's beautiful. She smiles a lot. She, you know, she's confident. So if you're holding yourself back, oh yeah, that's what I was thinking. If you're holding yourself back, you're holding back opportunities. Yeah. You're, you're holding back opportunities. Today, I'm wearing Nat's dress. I want to buy more. That's sales for her, right? A lot of you are seeing this now. You're going to go to her page. That's more sales <laughs> for her. If she didn't accept who God created her to be and put herself out there, and rock her body the way God gave it to her, would she be making these sales? Nope. <laughs> I'll be making them for somebody else. <laughs> so those of you who are hiding, I'm tired. I've grown gray hairs, guys. I can show you my gray hairs that I've grown from telling women, post these <laughs> pictures. My coaching clients, yeah. the ones who come to my DM, I'm like, okay, if you can't afford my coaching, take full length pictures and start posting them they still will not post it so yeah i think for me the the growth and the confidence came from um me again just stepping outside of my comfort zone forcing i had to force myself to do it because i got bored i get i i do that i get bored a lot and sometimes you get bored with yourself and then you have to make a decision on how you you want to um to expand from that. Do you want to grow from it? Do you want to, you know, recess and go back into corporate America, which is where I started? <laughs> mm -hmm. Or do you want to continue to grow? And if you want to continue to grow, you have to step into other opportunities and, um, and just challenge yourself. Um, you know, there are a lot of things I'm doing now that I did not think I would be doing one being on this video with you because I don't like doing videos. But <laughs> it's a part of it's a part of the process, and now I'm a lot more comfortable doing them because I had to force myself to to put my face on a video and talk to people. It's the same thing with networking. Networking. A lot of people are afraid of networking because they fear walking into a room and like, what am I going to say and all of that. But you just have to do it, and eventually you get more confident. You you know you kind of learn a, a little trick of what to say or how to start a conversation with somebody. And, you know, they, they read it on you. They read it as soon as you walk in the room, they're seeing what you're wearing. They give you like a, a quick once over. We all do it. We give them like a once over to see if this is somebody you might want to know, or you might not want to know, you know, that that's the first, um, the first impression that they have of you is, is what you look like when you step into the room. <laughs> as much as we want to say the world is vain they like but that is just how it is um, yeah it is people assess you with how you carry yourself a lot of people wonder how i get all these guests on my tea time there's some guests <laughs> i've had on my tea time that people dm me they're like how did you get them do you have a publicist who is getting these people for you i said i don't have a publicist i search for their email 
I email mm -hmm. them, they look at my page, and they say yes. Some of them, when they say yes, they thank me. I'm telling you, I remember the day that the holistic psychologist replied me within 15 minutes. She mm -hmm. has 3 million followers. She's like, I'm so, you know, she said something so polite, like, I feel honored that you invited me. Mm. I have, what, 20-something thousand followers? But if mm. they, if, when they come to my feed, they see how I put myself together. They see that mm. I do a lot of lives. The mm -hmm. fastest way to get to know somebody is to hear their voice, to click onto their video or to the videos, their lives, their reels, and hear how they talk and how they present themselves. Yeah, if the you personality. Guys are not, yeah, if you're not doing videos, you cannot grow your personal brand. Is that true or false, Nat? That is very true. That is very true because that is the first, um, the first impression they have of your your personality and that's really what they want they want to know who you are they they can guess and they can kind of get an idea from your pictures and from what you're posting a little bit of your story but once you start to actually tell that story and share it and you know in video form then it makes it a lot more clearer to to them <clears throat> especially if you're in the service industry if you're a mm -hmm. coach or consultant people like nat and maybe uh, fw style you mm -hmm. still have to do videos, but not as much as as as, as us, right? Yeah. You know, you know, because if you are a service business, if you're a coach or consultant, how are mm -hmm. people going to hire you? <laughs> There's yeah, they want to know what they want to know what you're talking. They want to know that you know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you are coaches, and you have one video on your whole feed, and I'm like, you have to do these lives. You have to. But we're going now, but we were talking about confidence. So this is important. So um, you said you just put yourself out there. That's how you were able to overcome, be, be more confident, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So now can you give us um, three to six fashion or dress up tips that can enhance most body types? Um, three to six fashion tips. <laughs> I think we kind of touched on them before. The undergarments is definitely at the top of the list um, mm -hmm. for me. Um, okay. Shoot certain, you know, uh, finding the perfect cut of the dress. We talked about mm -hmm. that. Um, mm -hmm. Your hair, you know, I don't think we mentioned that, but like your hair, your makeup, all of that stuff plays a part in, in how you present yourself and how you feel about yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and accessories. Um, somebody said okay. earlier that accessories are the exclamation point to the look. Don't overdo it. Don't feel like you have to, you know, if you don't want to wear earrings, don't wear earrings. I mean, it's not a necessity. Or if you want to um, just do a stud or just have something there. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you can look in the mirror and feel like something's missing and you put on a stud and it's like, okay, now I'm good. You know what I mean? But there are also times where you could put on that one extra piece and it's like, you just ruined your whole outfit. <laughs> very true. Very true. Yeah. There are a couple questions for you. The first one is, um, Nat, how did you get into fashion designing and the other hats you mentioned at the beginning? How did you Aren't get into it? them? What? <laughs> I was reading the comment. I'm sorry. <laughs> Armpit hairs, that completely threw me off. What? <laughs> I think what Simi is saying that that's a no no. Oh, Armpit yeah. No. Hairs are a no no. <laughs> I'm like, where did that come from? Um, wait, what was the question? I'm sorry. Oh, how did I get into fashion design? <laughs> yeah, and the other, you said you, you're in, into fashion designing and some other things. How did you mm -hmm. get into all of those? Um, well, I started fashion design from corporate America. I was in corporate America in accounting, um, mm -hmm. and I disliked it very much, but uh, mainly because it wasn't creative enough for me. And I didn't realize that at the time, but I needed to find a creative outlet. So I started sewing and taught myself how to sew rather, and, um, started making my own clothes, you know, wearing them to work and people, my coworkers started noticing. So they were ordering from me and I was running a whole business from the SunTrust cubicle before I, oh, wow. before I left and decided to become a full-time designer. Um, and I've been doing it ever since. So that was about 15, 16 years ago. Hmm. No, wait, that was 20 years ago. That was about 20 years ago, actually. Wow. I officially started the business 16 years ago, but yeah. Oh, wow. So really you just got bored. You didn't like your job and you were looking for a creative outlet. 
Yeah, I, you know, corporate America, you have all these rules of things that you can and cannot wear. And at the time, they were very strict about it. It was gray, blue, gray, navy, blue, black, or brown. Those were the only four colors we could wear. So I, you know, wearing my suits and everything, I would go to Banana Republic, get them tailored and all of that. But I would go home and take the linings out and put like the brightest color or print that I could find in the uh, replace the lining with that and then when i wore that to work it made me feel better i felt a little rebellious because you know they didn't know the color was there but i felt it so from that i just started growing into making my own pants and my own pretty much everything that i wore to work was was mine and then you know the rumors started flying like she makes clothes and the orders started coming in and life happened <laughs> after that <laughs> so, so many lessons on this live. That's another lesson there, guys. Because you know me, I'm going to bring out lessons from what, my, from what my guests are saying. That's another lesson out there, which I preach every day. So don't even mm -hmm. get me started, ladies. <laughs> that, yeah, there's so many creative gifts within you that are waiting to burst out. Yeah. Life is not just about being a doctor or accountant or lawyer or engineering. Those are wonderful those are wonderful but you guess what yeah. god also gave us god gave us a lot of creative gifts just in case mm -hmm. we can't go to school that's why i love yeah. the god i serve yeah that's why i love and i use my that mom as true. an example all the time my mom didn't go to school she was born in 1932 she didn't she couldn't read or write english but mm -hmm. she did she had a lot of businesses she were, you know she sold clothes she sold gold and jewelry she was into real estate with my dad and she made millions so our god is a good god he has a lot of creative gifts within us and you know what he knows that we're going to enjoy those creative <laughs> gifts yeah yeah you just yeah, have you know, to be open. You have to be open and ready for it. Because I was, I was yes. ready for it because I got bored. You know, I'm like, this yeah. cannot be my life for the rest of my life. Yeah. But, um, yeah. you know, even with that, doing fashion for so many years, I kind of, I didn't, you know, lose the passion for it, but I felt like I was supposed to do something else. So then I started venturing into music and venturing into film and just trying to tie it all together. And it still works. I mean, it's still the arts. I just have a love for the arts. So I, find, I always find a way to kind of to, to make it all make sense and still presenting, making it a part of my personal brand. So people look at me and they know, you know, she's just a creative like she she can kind of, you know, combine the two things or combine four different things and make it make sense. That's why I love you. This is why I came to your page <laughs> and I was attracted to you even before hearing all these things. <laughs> she went she went outside the box she allowed her creative yeah. gifts to start flowing that's where you're going to find happiness that's where you're going to find peace and fulfillment guys yeah, yes you absolutely. can love your doctor job you can love your accounting <laughs> job that's also where you're not going to burn out it's not that it's not it's not hard it's still hard work oh, but yeah. which hard do you want to choose do you want to choose the hard of that you'll enjoy or do you want to choose the heart that feels like you know a, a, a job which one do you want to choose and we're going to wrap up i know we were meant to finish at three now <laughs> oh yeah there was there was another question they said um do you, the, she said what do you think about tattoos and piercings <laughs> i i don't have any <laughs> but i don't i don't really have a um a negative about it i just think that you have to think about, again, what your career is going to be. Um, I've, I've seen some people put them on their hands. I saw a skeleton. I think my cousin has like a skeleton on her hand. I'm like, you don't ever plan to go into corporate, do you, <laughs> or, or certain jobs. Certain things are just not going to, you know, that aren't going to happen when you have skulls and all types of stuff all over your body. So you just have to be um, conscious of where you're headed <laughs> when you make those decisions to get piercings and and tattoos um i'm too scared i've thought about it i've i've <laughs> contemplated getting one like in a little hidden area maybe on my back or something but not my thing <laughs> yeah you not and i are similar i don't have any <laughs> tattoos i don't have any piercings i remember when my husband met me he asked me he's like you don't have any tattoos, right? I said, no, I don't. It's like, oh, thank God. It's like these days all women have tattoos and I hate them. I'm like, that's, an, I'm like, just, that's another thing we have in common. I said, it's not that I hate them, but I don't like them. Now, 
I do want yeah. to talk to the parents out there. I mm -hmm. have two daughters who have very different personalities. My older mm -hmm. daughter, she loves tattoos and she loves piercings. I had a problem with them in the beginning, but now I just breathe and I let her do her thing. She doesn't want to work in the corporate world. She wants to have her own business. Right now she's, you know, finishing college mm -hmm. and she works at a restaurant. In the restaurants, they don't mind because that's a creative field. Right. Now I is. just <laughs> I just let her be herself. So, you know, guys, there's some parents out there that will learn from this. Don't give yourself stress. If your kids mm -hmm. want to do some things, just tell them the consequences. Let them know, like Nat said, if you're planning to go and work in, in the corporate world, it's not going to work. But if you're more of a creative person, it's your life. You're an adult. Yeah. Sometimes they listen. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> yeah. So, I think my mom had all kinds of fits with my sister. She got <laughs> tattoos all over her body, but I, I guess yeah. she just, she just knew she would be a pet groomer. So she didn't it, really care. It's fun. Now I don't stress myself anymore with my kids because my yeah. mom had six kids and she told me that all the time that you guys are all different. Some of you give me a headache and some of you are easy. Just go and live your life. So guys, don't give yourself stress. Let them do what they want to do because my older daughter is very artsy. She sings, she plays the guitar. She loves mm -hmm. guys with tattoos. So she likes tattoos too. She's just very creative and very artsy. My younger daughter yeah. is a bit more like me. So, you know, so the answer to your question, the person who asked is, it depends on what field, what career field you're in. If you're going to be a writer or a singer or a chef or somebody creative and artsy, tattoos are fine and piercings are fine, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's all the questions I have for you, Nat. But is there anything mm -hmm. else I want to give you now the opportunity to talk? Do you want to show people any of your pieces that you have that they may want to be interested <laughs> in buying? The floor is yours now. And then we'll wrap um up. Well, first of all, thank you. And thank you, everybody, for joining. I was trying to catch most of the comments. But thank you to everybody who yeah. contributed to the conversation. Um, I don't have any pieces within arm's length. And <laughs> but we do have the Lola that um, that Miss Lady is wearing, Dr. Yabo is wearing. And we also have the black, which is the same dress, but it's in a knit version. We offer it in a couple of different um, fabric options. You'll see on the website at nattaylor.com. Um, I also offer Lola Tops. I mean, it was such a popular brand that I, or a popular um, style that I ended up building a whole collection around it. Um, the website, again, is nattaylor.com, N-A-T-T-A-Y-L-O-R. Um, yes, the Lola comes slightly longer. It comes in mini, mini length, which is 18 inches, I think, um, knee length which is 22 and then midi, which is 26. And that's like mid calf, almost like a tea time length. Um, and then of course that's what's available on the website. And if you wanted to order it in a maxi length, then you can request it. I am kind of holding back on custom orders right now because of everything that's going on, but eventually we'll bring it back. So don't uh, cross me out just yet, but, um, <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I had a good time talking to you all. I think that the one takeaway for me, you know, even whether I said it or she said it, is just to just put yourself out there and um, and try something different. If you want to continue to grow your brand, focus on what you're feeding to your audience and making sure that they're receiving what it is that you want them to receive. Thank you, Nat. We love you. We'll all be following you. And I'm serious. I do. If you have any more dresses with this kind of shape, but shorter above me. I have quite a few. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Can you just send them all to my DM. Send the links to my DM. I do get lazy. That's how I am. Uh, Alexandra <laughs> knows me. And uh, Marianne. There's things on their websites. I know I can go to their website, but I just ask them, can you please send the links to my DM? Because I just get busy doing all sorts of stuff. So if I have the links... I don't mm -hmm. have to go and start looking. Yeah. So thank you very much, Nat. You guys, thank please you. follow Nat. Go and buy her clothes. Not because I'm saying that because she's here, <laughs> but because her dresses, her dresses are very feminine and they will really help you up level your brand. They are really feminine. I'm telling you, they're lovely. I would like some with a little bit of my chest showing though, Nat. Mm -hmm. Do you have some of those also? 
Um, I don't think we have any online right now. There may be okay. some more coming, you know, as we get closer into the summer. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you very much. The replay of this will be on my YouTube. So if you do want to watch the replay, it will be on my YouTube. You. Nat, I'll send you the link. If you mm -hmm. need to post it, or I'll send you the video via Google Drive. Okay. So thanks, okay. guys. I'll see you next weekend. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you so Bye, much. Everyone. I'll talk with you later. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs>